Are you starting a business or looking to expand your business with new product offerings? In order to get an image onto an oven mitt, we'll show you what you need and how to do it with Epson dye sublimation technology. In order to get your printed image onto an oven mitt, here's what you need. A 24 inch wide Epson F570 dye sublimation printer, some scissors, heat transfer tape, a blank oven mitt, a heat press, and some craft paper. Once you have the finished design for your oven mitt, this is how to send it to the F570 printer. For Windows users, click the print button. Check choose paper source by PDF page size if it is not already checked. Choose properties. Select the media type setting that matches the paper you loaded. If you want to use paper settings that have been set in the printer's control panel, select Use Printer Settings. Click OK, then click Print to send the file to the printer. For Mac users, click the Print button. Check Choose Paper Source by PDF Page Size if it is not already checked. Click Printer. Choose Printer Settings and select the media type setting that matches the paper you loaded. If you want to use paper settings that have been set in the printer's control panel, select Use Printer Settings. Click Print, and click Print again to send the file to the printer. And now let's cut our paper down to size. And now we're gonna use heat transfer tape to tape our oven mitt in place. And now we're ready to press it. Before we place our item onto the heat press, let's first place a sheet of craft paper. Now we'll place our item and we'll flip it so the paper is on top. We'll place another sheet of craft paper and now we're ready to press it. We're pressing at medium pressure, 400 degrees for 60 seconds. And when the timer's done, it will alert us. When the press is done, open it slowly. Move your craft paper and place your item off to the side. So now we just need to remove our heat transfer tape and we're done.